999 euros. While the Xiaomi 13 Pro will be available starting from 1,299 euros. Ang mahal na ng Xiaomi phones ngayon. Yan yung mga nakita namin comments dun sa pag-announce ng Xiaomi 13 and Xiaomi 13 Pro. Bakit ang mahal na? Di ba nga dapat affordable brand ng Xiaomi? Well, matagal, medyo matagal na siyang hindi affordable brand. And we're gonna tell you when that happened and why exactly that happened. My name is John. This is Unbox. So bago yun, kailangan natin pag-usapan actually yung history ni Xiaomi at ang history niya dito sa Pilipinas. So Xiaomi started as an affordable brand in China back in 2011 2012. So one of the reasons why they were able to sell phones uh, so cheaply in that particular area was that they only sold their phones online. They did not have physical locations. So lahat ng uh, monetary burden na usual na nakukuha mo pag may physical locations ka, wala sa kanila. That's the reason why they were able to sell really aggressively priced phones na sobrang ganda ang specs. So nung dumating si Xiaomi dito sa Pilipinas back in 2014, this was also their game plan. Uh, nakausap ko pa si Hugo Barra, which was the VP for Global for Xiaomi back then. And yun yung idea nila. They wanted to bring uh, Xiaomi's phones here in the Philippines. And their strategy was also just selling the phones online. Unfortunately, may problema yun. Uh, back then kasi, mga Pilipinos, very hesitant pa bumili ng telepono online. We are still a brick and mortar or a retail people. Kailangan natin makapunta sa SM Cyber Zone. Kailangan natin makita yung stocks produkto. Kailangan natin mahawakan yung produkto. Kailangan natin hingin yung produkto na nandun sa likod at yung hindi nahawakan ng mga ibang tao, yung stock. And kailangan din natin ng assurance na pag may nasira dun sa telepono natin, meron tayong pwedeng puntahan sa physical location na sasabihin natin, Oy! Sira itong telepono ko. Palitan mo. And dahil ganun nga, ang buying habits ng Pilipino at hindi naka-adjust si Xiaomi, umalis siya sa Pilipinas. By 2016, they left the country silently, uh, which was a loss for a lot of people kasi ang ganda nga ng mga telepono nila. Pero kahit umalis na si Xiaomi sa Pilipinas, ang dami niya pa rin fans na nakuha. Kahit hindi na nga siya binibenta sa Pilipinas, ang dami pa rin bumibili ng uh, parallel imports and grain market imports sa mga telepono nila. Kasi, paano naman tatapatan ang telepono na kalahating, kalahating yung presyo ng comparable Samsung phone, pero it's almost the same performance. Kaya nga, nung mga around 2016, 2018, mga oras, parang kahit anong post namin na article sa website namin or kahit anong video na gawin namin, palaging nababasa sa comments, Xiaomi number one. Xiaomi number one. Because sa totoo lang, ang ganda nga ng mga offering nila. Pero yung nangyari sa Pilipinas ay hindi unique sa bansa natin. Nangyari din sa kanila yon for other countries. Countries that were not ready to buy their phones purely online. So, nag-realign ang strategy ng Xiaomi. So, inisip nila, okay, let's open physical locations. Let's be in physical stores. So, nag-start sila sa ibang bansa. And yun din ang ginawa nila when they returned to the Philippines around 2018. Uh, nakipag-partner sila sa Grimalkin, and the rest is history. Ika nga. At the same time, mga around 2018 and 2019, Xiaomi announces they are creating a sub-brand called Poco. Right? Poco is a mid-range phone brand which sells mostly mid-range phones. Then, around 2019, nag-announce sila na yung isa sa mga product lines nila, Redmi, is now becoming a separate brand, an independent brand under Xiaomi. So, Redmi is now selling affordable phones to mid-range phones. So if you're actually paying attention, may kita mo na kung saan papunta. Xiaomi is now stacking uh, the lineup ng ibang brands. So ano na lang na naiwan? Ano na lang ang walang representation? High-end. Honestly, inevitable talaga na magiging high-end brand si Xiaomi. Uh, hindi ko alam kung alam nyo kung nagbebenta kayo ng telepono. Pero if you do, you know if your dealer Alam mo, yung mga mid-range at mga entry-level phones, sobrang nipis ng margin. As in, sobrang nipis niya, almost transparent na siya. Sometimes, they only make 200 pesos, 300 pesos, sometimes nga, 100 pesos lang. Tapos, isipin mo, bebenta ka ng ganong value ng telepono, yun lang ang kita mo. As ang dami mong papapasweldohan. May renta ka pa, everything. So, you can already see kung gano'ng kahirap 
kumita sa mid-range and entry-level brands. That is not the same thing pagdating sa high-end and premium brands. This is where most of the margin goes. You think, sa tingin mo, bakit yumaman ng husto si Apple? Kasi premium yung mga products nila. So kahit it only takes like $300 to build and complete an iPhone, and they sell it for $1,000, $1,200, di ba? Isipin mo yung kita nila. And this is the same market that Xiaomi wants to tap into pagdating sa premium phones. And this is why in 2021, pinatay ni Xiaomi ang Mi branding sa telepono. Hindi ko alam kung napansin niyo yun. Sinabi nila, yung mga phones nila moving forward from 2021 on, basta gawa sa Xiaomi, it's under the Xiaomi umbrella, it's not under Redmi or Poco, it will no longer have the Mi, M-I, branding. The reason is simple. Kasi yung Mi branding was associated with them when they were first starting out. Mi equals mid-range, or Mi equals bang for the buck. Hindi na kasi ganun ang Xiaomi ngayon. They're offering premium phones, premium devices, that unfortunately has premium prices. So gusto na talaga completely separate yung past nila from what they're doing in the future. So kahit si Xiaomi, sila na rin nagsabi, they're moving into premium products, they're now uh, moving into premium devices, premium experiences. Uh, that's not verbatim, pero that's essentially what they said. So that leads us to now. So bakit nagagalit yung mga tao sa pricing ng Xiaomi 13 at Xiaomi 13 Pro? Well, you have to take a look at it like if you're a long-time Xiaomi user, pumasok, like you started buying their phones in 2016, 2017, you were sold an image of the brand that is the antithesis or kabaligtaran ng mga established brands katulad ng Samsung, ng Huawei, ng Oppo, ng Vivo, na they offer you really great products at really aggressive prices, sometimes even half of the price of the competition while retaining the same kind of performance. So yun yung brand promise nila dati. So yung parang nangyayari ngayon episode 3 na Revenge of the Sith na yung mga loyal Xiaomi users from way back, sila na yung si, si, si Yun McGregor na <laughs> like, you know the meme, right? You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy the Sith, not join them! So, so parang ganun yung nararamdaman nila. They, some of them feel betrayed. And unfortunately, the most vocal supporters also become the most um, vocal detractors pag hindi nila nagugustuhan yung, yung, yung nakikita nila or yung na-experience nila. Mahal ba yung mga Xiaomi phones niya? As long as we're talking about Xiaomi, the main brand, and not Poco and Redmi, yes, mahal na sila. Babalik pa ba sila sa dating pesyo? No, probably not. Is it this a bad thing or a good thing? Well, ganito na lang. Isipin mo na lang, now that Xiaomi is free from the shackles of actually providing bang for the buck products and they, they relegated that to Redmi and to Poco, they're now free to experiment, to visualize and make other products uh, for na sobrang ganda, na, na hindi nila magagawa otherwise. For example, the Xiaomi 13 Pro. Yes, mahal siya. But, maganda siya. Is it the same level as the Samsung Galaxy S23 and S23 Ultra, you know, flagship? No, pero ang lapit na eh. Siguro, kailan na lang nila tweak yung MIUI kasi hindi ko pa rin siya trip. Hindi ko pa rin... Eh. Pero the rest of the phone, the hardware is fantastic, the build quality is fantastic, the phone feels really good in the hands. It's fast, it charges quickly. Kung hindi lang siya ganun kamahal, it's like easy recommend. It's very super easy recommend. And if they fix the software. But that's another conversation. Pero you wouldn't get that if Xiaomi was still selling affordable phones or the main brand still burdened with the idea of selling bang for the buck phones. So at the end of the day, yun. Hindi uh, na talaga magbumura sa Xiaomi. It's never gonna happen again. Um, but they, they're actually doing very interesting stuff. And once in a while, they, they, they produce a phone that a lot of you would probably want to buy. So that's pretty much it for me. Uh, my name is John. Do everything that YouTubers tell you to do. Like, subscribe. You know the jazz. And until next time, Xiaomi number one.